Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to polish your windows. Now behind me I've got my brother's Mini Cooper and I've already cleaned up both of these windows. And if we come up close to it, you'll be able to tell that they're both clean. They both look the same. However, there's one really big difference. When you grab a hose and spray down the window, you'll be able to notice something. You guys see that? You'll be able to tell as soon as water comes in contact with the glass. On this side, it just beads right off. And on this side, it doesn't quite do that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do now is we're gonna to wanna to dry off the window. Now I already went ahead before this and washed it. So if you guys haven't washed yours yet, wash it and then dry it off. We then need to remove any imperfections that are on the glass. And in order to do that, I'm gonna be using my Roops LHR 15ES dual action polisher with a Griots Garage window cleaning pad. Now I have links for both of these in the description box along with the polishes that I'm gonna use. Now I'm gonna be using right here fine glass polish also from Griots Garage. And I'm gonna be using this to remove any hard water marks any dirt, any contaminants that are still stuck on the window, this is gonna be removing any kind of dirt that we have in between the glass and this pad. So if there's any dirt on there, it's all gonna come off in this step. So apply a little bit of the fine glass polish onto your polishing pad, and then just like when you're polishing a car, you're gonna spread the polish over the entire panel, and then go ahead and spend more time in each area. So you're gonna go over the entire panel once very quickly just to spread the polish out, and then you're gonna take your time and do some passes from left to right and then up and down. And then while you do this, you wanna see if you can get rid of all the imperfections that are in the glass. So take your time when you're doing this, make sure that you're doing 50% overlaps after every single pass. So that means that if you go over one area, the next time that you make a pass on it, say from going left to right, you're gonna to wanna to cover 50% of the other pass on the next pass. Now I didn't notice until afterwards, but the autofocus wouldn't actually pick up the glass. It actually focused on the house behind the car, but it's not a big deal. You guys get the gist of it. You wanna make passes from left to right and then up and down. Once you're done that, set your polisher aside and then grab a microfiber towel and buff off any excess polish that's still on the glass. So with that done, the glass itself should be imperfection free. The only things that we should really see in the window are any fingerprints on the inside or spots like that. See if I can get the camera to focus. Or spots like that. Now these right here, these are imperfections in the tint. So when the tint guys were actually doing these windows, there was a dust particle that was stuck behind there. And if there's anything else in the glass, you'd be able to see that right now. See up in there? But I mean, other than that, the glass is very smooth with no imperfections at all to it. When you run your hand over it, it should feel like a brand new piece of glass. It shouldn't have any texture or anything to it. After you polish the paint on your car, you need to follow it up with a layer of protection to make sure that the paint will look great for a long time. And the same thing goes for polishing windows. After you're done polishing it and removing any imperfections, it's very important to put a coating or a layer of protection on top of the glass to make sure that it'll last a long time. I'm going to be applying Rain-X on the windows to do this exact job. I'll be spraying a little bit onto a shop towel and then rubbing it onto the window. I'm going to go over the entire window quickly from left to right to get the entire thing covered and then follow it up in circular motions to make sure that I have every single square inch of the window covered in Rain-X. I'm then going to let it sit for a good 10-15 minutes, come back and then buff it off with a microfiber towel. Now if it's not coming off that easily in some areas, if you want, to make it come off a little bit easier, grab your microfiber towel and spray a little bit of water on it. This is gonna make the Rain-X react with it and should come off very easily. If I were you, I wouldn't use any glass cleaning sprays right here when I'm cleaning it off after I put the Rain-X on because it might actually take the Rain-X coating off of the glass. And just like that, you guys can polish your windows to make them look like they're brand new again. Now the pad that I used on my Roops polisher is a, well, it's technically a six inch pad that I trimmed down to five. Because my backing plate is a five inch pad, there was nothing available that would fit. So I got a six inch and I cut it down so it would work. 
Griot's Garage also has a three inch pad. So if you have a small polisher and you wanna work on very intricate areas, you can by all means buy three inch pads, put it on a polisher, and then clean up the whole thing. If you guys wanna pick up some of the products that I used today in this video, you guys can check the description box. I'll have a link for everything that I used. If you guys have any questions, throw them down in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.